Hello everybody, my name is KevGuy378 and welcome back to Amnesia, The Dark Descent. Yay! We have just met the monster, kind of. He kind of busted through the door, so... Uh, uh, and we just found a key to the machine room. No idea where that is, so... Oh, Professor Taylor was his second death caused by his damned curiosity. That's not good. All right, time to the study. Sir William Smith had been marked. There's no way for him to know that the young man from the other day cast such a terrible shadow. Oh no, shadow of death. I don't like this place. Okay, got the tindy box. Oh, I hate these chests. They're not chests, but they're like fake chests. What is this, salt shaker? Yeah. What was that? I'm gonna close this door. There. Uh... Ah, here we go. I'm gonna take this with me. It'll, it'll scare off the monster. Oh, oh Jesus! Protect me! Protect me! More tindy boxes. Piano here. Alright, well there's nothing here. Alright, Jesus. We're gonna, we're gonna go on an adventure, you and me. Oh, can I turn this? Let me see. Is it, is it R? Ooh. Alright, you go first, Jesus. I need I need protection, lots of it. Okay, you just uh Okay, you you, you wait there. I'm I'm gonna check out this place. Alright, just block all the monsters from getting through. Your Jesus, you should be able to do that. Letter regarding the discovery of an orb to my most trusted student and friend, Johan Weyer. The most remarkable thing happened as I was traveling through the Prussian woods this summer. I finally found one of the orbs I have been looking for the last 20 odd years. It is as ex inexplicable as the Heliodromos described in the Hortus Conclusus. It was as it was told about an underground mythric temple crowned with the unearthly artifact. The orb was big, enough to fill my cupped hands, and the texture was smooth and jagged. Its color washed while rich. Contrast is not enough to describe its nature. It was an impossibly an artificial paradox captured within stone. I was staying in a nearby village called Outstop, investigating one of the antiquated trails when I finally found the cavern. I went inside and suddenly I could verify the truth of these enigmatic artifacts. They were real. As you can understand, this is the most important discovery of my life, but it also became my greatest fear. As I entered the underground chamber, I could feel that I was trespassing. Because of my curiosity, I did my best to fight these instincts and fetch the orb from its place. I scrambled out of the chamber and into the woods. I could sense something was following me. It bayed loudly as it closed in. The beast, this guardian of the orb, was relentless in its pursuit. I made my way to a nearby ravine where I stumbled upon some men fishing in the lake. I tried to warn them as I passed, but fortunately they remained as I continued my escape. When I heard their cry of pain echo through the valley, I felt such a tremendous sense of relief, thinking I would be spared. Suddenly, a blue shimmering light engulfed me and the colors of the forest were washed away before my eyes. I kept running through the bleak surroundings. The trees had turned charcoal. Black with the leaves of cinder, the ground covered in murky water. I pressed on through the drenched land as the glowing amber gave way to the rising wind and rained on me. I could hear pleading screams in the distance and I joined in as pain and fear overtook me. I fell to the ground, gasping for air. This, son, this certainly must sound strange, but I had been carried miles away 
across the Alps a grassy field outside Genoa. The guardian had taken the orb from me, but still until this day I fear its return. Sometimes I lay awake at night listening for the howling cry I heard in the forest. It has been nearly a decade since that day and I still haven't been able to write about the incident. The last time we spoke, you told me about your interest in ongoing research into the mythic orbs and I realized I owed you the truth about my visit to Altstadt. Your friend and mentor, Heinrich Cornelius Acropa. Hmm, interesting story. So dark outside. Oh, yes, sir. Ah, how'd you get here, Jesus? I thought I put you outside. All right. Well, you are Jesus. You can teleport in anything. Uh oh. Sorry. All right. There's no chimney boxes or. Oilies. Hmm. Whoopsies. Sorry about that, guys. Fixing some sound. Oh, you're right here the whole time. Okay. You're first. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's just you. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's... What is that? Right, you got the entrance. Oh, poor bunny rat. Let's see what you have to offer. <clears throat> ah, what a mess. I should have sharpened the saw. But I can sense it. It's definitely there. Oh, you're messed up. Oh no, they're gonna be dog chasing me. Oh the oh the head. Rudolph. No Rudolph. Oh Oh poor Rudolph. Oh, aw, it's not Oreo. I think here I can take okay. another Dog's head. Who was that? Oh, jeez, that's loud. Oh, there's nothing here. Hello. Wherever you are. Ooh, letter. Oh, there's gonna talk. Anatomy Frontier, 1658, January 9. Further disappointment. The antiquarian's latest findings yielded nothing. I'm still unable to grasp the inner workings of life and its relation to the power I sense within it. I shall pursue more books on the subject, but I suspect it will be in vain. Since no research has been made in my particular interest, I must attempt to fill that void myself. Clearly humans emanate more of the energy I seek, but I hope animals will suffice as they would prove less of a hassle to acquire. That is messed up. Did you have a head before? Hmm. I don't trust you. Oh, never mind, there's two of them. Ooh, tinny boxes. I keep hearing Hmm. <gasps> Scully. Oh, that's that. Okay, well, there's nothing else here except the spooky jump scare. Hello? Hmm. 
Rudolph, I feel safer. I feel safe with you. Rudolph, you, you, you go look. See anything? No? Okay. Ooh, Oyo. Thank you, Rudolph. Thank you for pointing me to Oyo. Alright, Jesus, you, you stay in this hallway and, and protect me. Rudolph and I will go explore. Oh. Okay, there we go. Oh, what happened? Oh, jeez. I thought something was coming. Check memento. Find another way around the rubble in the study. Uh, oh, I dropped it. Bye, well, everyone. I am out of time right now, but... Oh, man, that... Oh, that jump scare of the, the skeletons. The bones. Oh, that really got me. But everyone, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please give it a like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it so much if you did that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.